Yo, what is up everybody? Shout out to the EA Creator Network for allowing me to capture some early Madden 25 gameplay for you guys. Today, I'm using the Baltimore Ravens against Trumpet Monkey and his Las Vegas Raiders. My poor unsuspecting opponent is not ready for what I have in store today. I mean, for one, I have Derrick Henry on the last part of the uh, Baltimore Ravens. That'll be fun. But I also have made an offensive playbook full of trick plays. I have a full clip. I am ready to unload on Trumpet. He is not ready for how many gadget plays I have in this book. And I know what you may be thinking. What do you got? Three or four trick plays? Madden doesn't have that many trick plays. Stick around and find out. In fact, why don't you watch this play we're about to cook up right now. Shout out to Roquan Smith for getting us the ball in great field position. Now, I'm going to let Mark Andrews, yes, Mark Andrews, do the rest. <laughs> He's got a cannon. Give that man his flowers. Zay on the conversion. But Mark Andrews with the die. That pass has some gas on it. 30 yards plus air yards downfield. It was a little bit of a wobbler, but I mean, that's Mark Andrews. I'm surprised he threw more than five yards downfield. And it was on time, on target. There's really not much more you can ask for. And Zay got some separation away from Jack Jones. And we're just getting the party started, folks. All right, this is the beginning of what will be many fun plays. These Madden 25 playbooks... They have really been reimagined, and I feel like it's the influence of College Football 25 that, you know, you see a lot of these gadget plays in CFB 25, and it's carried over into Madden, where these devs have gotten really creative for the better, and it's going to allow this game to shine, because if you have a bright football mind, I mean, you can really cook up the craziest schemes out here, and... Like, you're never going to run a playbook full of trick plays in a comp setting, but right now we're just playing a friendly game, and we're going to see how much fun we can have. Right now, though, defense is not too much fun because on third down, that's going to be Jacoby Myers setting up a goal to go, trying to beat Kyle Hamilton in a foot race. Here's Zamir White finishing the job with the touchdown. Zamir getting tough in the trenches. He'll need to this season because, of course, the Raiders have no more Josh Jacobs, so Zamir is going to be that lead back for the Raiders, but for our Baltimore Ravens, we got a new running back. His name just happens to be Derrick Henry. He just happens to be one of the greatest running backs of all time, as we tried to do a DIY handoff on the kick return. Couldn't really execute it too well. Setting up a swing pass. Henry in space. You can sit down, sir. What are you doing? Except getting owned by the king. Yeah, we're gonna have to get some body bags for these defensive backs of Derrick Henry is one-on-one -on -one with them. Come on now, this video might not be rated E by the end of this one if Henry continues to do stuff like that. As we try to set up a screen, Mark Andrews throw back across the field to Derrick Henry did not work out too well there as we roll out with Lamar Jackson. And I mean, look, you gotta worry about Derrick Henry and then, oh yeah, there's also the two-time MVP Lamar Jackson. Don't let him get loose. And you saw that formation that I ran. We had two running backs flanking Lamar to the right side. And that gives you some great rollout opportunities. And look at Derrick Henry, the direct snap. Oh yeah, Trumpet doesn't know where I'm going, man. I've got every trick play I could find in the game, including a pass by Nelson Aguilar that ends in a way you would expect with a Nelson Aguilar pass, I suppose. An interception. I think he tried to lateral the ball right there, but it's still going to be Raiders football. But not for long, because my opponent makes the grave mistake of putting his hands in the cookie jar. You never want to put your hands in the cookie jar, because we're not going to let you get away with that. And just like that, we get the ball right back in fantastic field position. Oh yeah, that's Derrick Henry in motion. This is Lamar Jackson with the ball, with the touchdown! Give that man his flowers once again, it's Zay for the second time today! And you saw we motion, we had Lamar Jackson, empty single back. Look, man, I'm just having fun right now. Holy cow, is this what you think it is? Yes, it is the Philly special. Bateman, Lamar, no, no, no. He dropped it. Oh, we did everything right. The last part of the play should really be the easiest part of the play. Lamar Jackson is that open, but I guess Lamar's got butterfingers. I don't know. Come on, Lamar. There's some quarterbacks. I would be like, all right, I'm not too mad about it. But Lamar Jackson, you're telling me you don't got hands? 
Alright, we'll just have to stay up by seven instead of trying to get that nine point lead as Gardner Minshew trying to rally the troops near the end of the first half, trying to tie this game up. 85 seconds and counting in the first half. Minshew outside, got his man wide open! Who tried to turn around before he had the ball secured. You gotta keep your eyes on that ball before you make a move. Of course, as fourth down, he's gonna eat that sack right there, trying to set up a screen. That one never really had a chance. And yeah, this is the golden horseshoe. The flea flicker, it's back! Oh, and we nearly swung for the fences and hit the homer. It was open, it was certainly open, we just didn't really have the time. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, the Flea Flicker is back in Madden for the first time in a long time. I couldn't even tell you what was the last Madden that had the Flea Flicker in the game, but they've added it back. And look, I'm, I'm cheesing right now, alright? And I'm not talking about cheesing the game, I'm cheesing smiling. But we're cheesing, maybe, with the way we're scoring touchdowns out here, the way we're running our offense... And the really fun thing about this playbook that I've made, it's not just the trick plays, but it's the same look of the trick play, but there's a counter to it, right? That was a formation where we could run a double pass, but that's how we put Mark Andrews on a wheel route. And there's a lot of these trick plays that have the same motion, but a different counter where it's like, instead of the trick, it's just a normal passing play, or it's even just a normal running play. So you can't overplay the trick. It's not a one-trick pony, I should say, as uh, you see he's trying to cook something up here near the end of the first half. So, I mean, you'll even see my opponent. He's been running this trips all game, and he'll motion his guy outside. It'll be more of a doubles look, and, you know, it's the cheat motion that they call it. And these cheat motions that are in a lot of these playbooks in Madden 25 are a lot of fun to use. The auto motions in Madden have never been fluid. They've never been good to use. But this year, with the cheap motions, you can have a lot of fun. As Michael Meyer right now, he's bleeding our defense, taking us all the way to the three-yard line. But no timeouts left for the Raiders. So they got to score on this play. Cannot get tackled. Inbounds. Minshew got it away. He'll lift the play for one more down. But perhaps only one more. Second down. Three seconds left. Minshew looking to pass. It's a touchdown. Brock Bowers, the first round pick as time expires in the first half. The Raiders with a pivotal touchdown for their chances to make a comeback in today's game. But the good news for us is we, oh, we nearly got another missed PAT. But we are going to get the opening possession of the second half. And once again, we're going to try this DIY handoff where one of the outside guys is going to come back to the returner. It's just not really a fluid formation, so it's not easy to hit in game. So, you know, first of all, not every playbook has that. So if you don't see it in your playbook for your kick returns, you know, don't be too alarmed. It's just not in every playbook for whatever reason. But even then, if you have it, you know, it's not the easiest thing to set up because you never really know the angle of the returner as we're going to run a design run. Oh, Lamar Jackson keeping his balance. Holy cow. Action Jackson is in the building, but he's lost the ball. Down for grabs and picked up by the Raiders. Ah, our electric play ultimately got us electrocuted because it's going to result in a turnover even after the penalty which was holding on Mark Andrews so if we scored a touchdown it would not have counted regardless I suppose so yeah you know what just take the ball and we'll just get it right back <laughs> turnover fest out here that's an interception for Pina Humphrey as we try to get a QB draw with Lamar Jackson I'm cooking up everything I've got. I got every ingredient in the kitchen trying to cook up a masterpiece. And you know if we're going to run a gadget playbook, you got to have some Wildcat in there. And of course, with the Baltimore Ravens, you can put Lamar Jackson as the quarterback of the Wildcat rather than just like a running back and have that same effect of having a running back back there because Lamar has 96 speed. Lamar Jackson, unfortunately, is going to get sacked. I probably should have threw that fade to Zay. I was a little bit hesitant on it. Didn't really feel like throwing it as, you know... Oh, look at this, man. We got this corn dog motion, but it's a fake corn dog, a corn dog trail. And you see my opponents running a lot of man coverage. Once Trumpet realized that I'm running trick plays, he switched to almost an exclusive man coverage defense, which is smart because that's the way you want to defend all of these gadget plays is just 
man on man body on body don't let your eyes deceive you and you can track everything so if you are having trouble stopping trick plays that is the best counter is man coverage but like i said if you go against a smart play caller they can hit you with a counter where you think it's the trick and there's a lot of man beaters out of these motions if you run a traditional passing play or you just hit him with a run right as Minshew, he's really struggling in this game man he's throwing rubber duckies straight up rubber duckies i feel bad for trump because this 85 throw power he might as well have mark andrews back there once again another ball that dies in the air Trent Simpson though he's no ordinary linebacker with Patrick Queen going to the Pittsburgh Steelers the Ravens are going to need someone to step up in his spot Simpson has all the abilities in the world to do just that flea flicker ah man you guys know how bad I want to hit a flea flicker today might not be the day unfortunately because we're just not getting the time Max Crosby is not being nice to us but you know that's the thing right all these plays are not going to work all the time these aren't world beating plays they're probably going to fail more often than they work to be completely honest so like i said you just got to be really smart with your counters as you see i'm not coming out in the pistol philly formation i'm coming out in a traditional you know shotgun formation and then going to the pistol philly just to try to catch him off guard but this time it's just gonna be a handoff henry's keeping henry whoop he's got moves derrick henry <laughs> he's got hops the king down to the two man if i could have finished that play off i would put myself number one on top 10 plays of the week now let's run corn dog to start the fourth quarter this is the super bowl winning play from the kansas city chiefs miko hartman scored it to win the win the game in overtime in the super bowl against the 49ers unfortunately we could not hit it on first down and goal but on the next play that looked like a tush push that kind of looked like a tush push it's not it's just a quarterback draw we ran this play earlier in the game with lamar but shout out to i believe it's lindenbaum um the left guard who just absolutely shoved this in there might be the center my bad my, my fault my my big ugly knowledge it's there but i might just mess it up a little bit but anyways here's trey tucker on the return and yeah i mean if you guys aren't impressed with these trick plays i don't know what to tell you man because this is a lot of fun, and if you guys know my channel for all these years, this is the kind of stuff I have fun doing in Madden, and I mean, look, you probably won't have all these plays. You have to make a custom playbook to even come close to having a lot of these plays in your playbook, but if you have one or two of them, don't be afraid to let it fly, man. I mean, no, be afraid to let this pass fly. I don't know what's going on here. We'll take the interception here with Trayvon Mullen. Thank you very much as the former Las Vegas Raider gets an interception on his team as we're going to try to set up this double pass screen once again. It's not going to work out. The design of that play is Andrews is supposed to throw it across the field to Derrick Henry with lead blockers. We do another direct snap to Derrick Henry. It's just not working out the way we are trying to materialize it right now. Third down and 13. My opponent's calling timeouts. He needs to get the ball back down by 14. We'll run an end around with Zay Flowers. This has potential. This is a first down. <laughs> Spinning and winning save flowers it's gonna be a crib call yeah man give that man his flowers a hat trick two receiving touchdowns a rushing touchdown added to his resume now and that may as well be the dagger that was nice <laughs> max crosby really bit hard on that you know the normal run he really did not play his assignment well he's supposed to contain outside in that situation so you would expect max, Cr max crosby to play that better but i'm of course glad that he did not as you notice my opponent switched quarterbacks and it's worked out for him i believe he put a rookie back there like an undrafted rookie and he's got more throw power than gardner Minshew, so he can make that pass that play's been there a lot for trumpet but Minshew's just been so bad that a lot of these balls keep dying in the air on my guys so he switches to bradley don't even try to ask me who this guy is. I don't know who he is, Raider Nation. You can let me know in the comment section. As Brock Bowers, once again, looking like Brock Powers. Fullback dive, two-point conversion. Now an onside kick, badly needed, but not gotten for the Las Vegas Raiders. Now, of course, we can kneel this game out, but I still have more trick plays to run. I have not ran out of options yet, all right? Our bag is deep. Our bag is truly deep. But once again, not all these plays are going to work out the way you think they would. Like this play, it's cool in design, but Derrick Henry is facing the wrong way when he catches this shovel pass. So I don't really know how much potential that play will ever have. But it looks cool, and you know, that's good enough for me as we are going to swing it. Mark Andrews, one more crack at it. Can he throw a die? Haha, <laughs> close. 
but no cigar. But hey, man, Mark Andrews even being within the same zip code on a pass that far downfield, I will take it. Fourth down in a mile. Why not? Friendly game. We'll go for it. And I'm just going to give the ball to Lamar. Let the two-time MVP do his thing. Need that block, and he's got it. Lamar Jackson. Ho-ho. He's got magic in his cleats. Weave him goodbye. The great eight strikes again in Baltimore. That quarterback run is... A quarterback running you might be familiar with, it's pretty popular in college football 25. A lot of people use it with Jalen Milrow in Alabama out of trips tight end, that quarterback zone, and it, it works for Jalen Milrow. It'll definitely work for Lamar Jackson. That run is not in the Ravens playbook, so if you want to use that with Lamar, you either got to make a custom or find out which playbook that play is from. I'm actually not sure, but if you can do it, or even what a quarterback that's not even Lamar Jackson, any mobile quarterback... I mean, you can definitely get down with that one for sure. So we end up securing the dub out here. Shout out to Trumpet, man. It's all for fun, these games. So uh, I always appreciate Trumpet, one of my favorite people in the Madden community. Before we wrap up today's video, I do want to show you guys some successful attempts at... A few of the trick plays that we tried to hit on and could not, especially the flea flicker. So I'm going to hop into an offline game and show you guys some of the missed opportunities. We're going to convert those against the computer real quick as you check out the stats. We had three different people throwing passes, and we actually had four because we threw that interception with Nelson Aguilar that's not showing up for whatever reason. So here we go. Now, this is not the way the flea flicker is really supposed to work, right? You're not normally going to roll out with Lamar Jackson on fourth down, but we hit it. I, I got sacked a couple of times, I'll be completely honest with you guys, and eventually we hit it to Rashad Bateman downfield. I'm going to work on trying to get the flea flicker to work, because it, it's a little bit rough to get the blocking down. Trust me, I will figure it out as we are going to throw this screen pass. I tried to hit this like three times when I was playing trumpet and could not. It's a tough play to get off because there's a lot of elements of the play, but as you see, if you can't execute the play, you have your running back screen pass and no one's really going to be on that side everyone's going to be preoccupied with the left side of the formation this is a halfback pass out of the same formation that we were running that tight end pass with mark andrews there's also a halfback pass so you can use that to your advantage and finally the play that we threw the interception on with nelson Aguilar. we're gonna throw a completion to nelson Aguilar. it wasn't the greatest pass but it worked and that'll do it for today's video leave a like on this one if you guys enjoyed what you guys saw today subscribe for more men in 25 action we're back uploading men 25 for the first time in a decade <laughs> i'll catch you guys next time thank you as always for watching